White, 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 white bags on the boat. We gon' float. We the Shonen gang swerve on the road. See the smoke blowing at your face. Pop, kid, better stop, kid. With that violence, rock shit on some hard shit. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another video with your boy TJ the Goat. Today is gonna be a sit down video. Today on Instagram, I asked you guys what are some questions that you guys want to know about me. I got a lot of questions from people. I'm here today to answer those questions for you guys. So, turn this video to a mukbang. Your boy got some taco cabana. And inside, I got some famous quesadillas. Not just any quesadillas, beef quesadillas. I really don't eat a taco cabana like that, but Hey, that's what I had, so that's what I'm gonna be eating. Before we get into this video, man, I need y'all to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and turn on the post notifications so you'll know the next time I post and follow all of my social media. I'll put it right here on the screen. And let's go ahead and get into this video. So, first question was, hold on, that's my queso. I don't eat guacamole on my quesadillas, so, I'm gonna just sit that off to the side. Sour cream, not really a big fan, so that could sit over there as well. Let me go ahead and get it. Uh-huh. Um. Mmm. Uh. This is so good. I'm gonna go ahead and make love to it real quick. Oh, okay. That's enough of that. First question was, why did you decide to do YouTube? I decided to do YouTube for a number of reasons. One, I really enjoy making content. I like seeing people watch my videos. I like making people laugh. And I just generally like doing videos. Um, another reason is, a lot of people motivated me to do YouTube. I watched other YouTubers and I watched where they came from and how they started. And I was like, if they can do it, I can do it. So that's another reason why I started to do uh, YouTube. I wanted to get on here and like try to motivate people, you know, do the same thing that motivated me. I wanted to motivate people to go out there, chase, chase y'all dreams, man. Do what y'all can because at the end of the day, you were bought in this world by yourself and you're gonna leave this world by yourself you want to take advantage of all the opportunities that you have anything that comes up to you guys like i advise y'all to go ahead and take it i wanted to get on here also to inspire people i feel like if i grow a platform on youtube then i could reach a bigger audience and people will hear me more if i have a bigger audience so that's what i'm my goal is another reason i want to give back to people who have helped me. This is really good, I'm sorry. I wanna give back to people who have helped me in the past because without them, I wouldn't be here. Like, it's a lot of people who have helped me and I just wanna show my appreciation for them. Like, I just wanna, you know, give back. Never forget where you came from. Next question. How old are you and when is your birthday? How old do I look? Comment down below how how old do, do I look. Anyway, I'm 21. Just turned 21 in March. Legal dinner mother. My birthday is March 10th, 1999. Do you just do YouTube or do you do something else too? I don't just do YouTube. Um, I work. I have a job. Uh, my goal is to eventually do YouTube to where I can live off YouTube and just quit my job. That's the goal. How many siblings do you have? I have two biological siblings, a brother and a sister. And I have one, two, three, four. Wait, wait, hold on, give me a sec. 
A few moments later. About six or seven step siblings. You guys can blame my dad for that. Next question. If you were stranded on a deserted island, what are three things you would bring? Hmm. That's a good question. Um, I would bring my phone. I would bring my phone for sure. Some rope, some water, I guess. I don't know. Those are the three things I would bring. I would bring my phone because I could kept call a helicopter to come get me. I can get in touch with somebody to come save me. Uh, I would bring a rope just because uh, I was a Boy Scout uh, when I was little and they always taught us to bring a rope and have a rope when, because you never know when you might need it. So that's why I would bring a rope and um, water because if I'm on a deserted island I'm, and I can't find water then. Duh. Next question. If you had to pick a superpower, what would it be and why? I actually have three. The first one would be telekinesis. Say for instance, right, you had a drink over there on the couch and you so thirsty, but you too lazy to get up. I would just, mm, oh, just like that. I don't even have to do nothing. The next one would be teleportation. Because if something bad is going on and I don't feel comfortable being, comfortable being there, then I'm out of there just like that. And the last one, the ability to turn invisible. Because you, can, I can get away with so much stuff. I could be sitting on your couch right now and you wouldn't even know it. I'll uh, be eating people, going to people's houses, eating people food, whole bunch of stuff. Next question, who is your favorite NBA player? My favorite NBA player is nobody other than Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving is the best player in the NBA. Don't argue with me, argue with your mama. I, I said what I said and that's it. Can't nobody hold this man. Okay? Nobody can hold him. Not even, y'all put who? Ka Kawhi Leonard, Patrick Beverly. Who? Who? Name some, comment down below who you think can hold Kyrie in the NBA. Tell me. When he come down, and he tween, snatch, 360, windmill, step back, dunk, take it out of the rim, finger roll, and then the ball go in. Tell me, tell me who, who, who you compare him to. Nobody, nobody can do that. But Kyrie, like I said, are you with your mama, not me? Next question, what is my favorite emoji? My favorite emoji has to be no other than the goat. It's only right. I use the goat pretty much every day. What city slash state do you live in? I currently live in San Antonio, but your boy is moving back to Houston, Texas in July. In the middle of the July. I said the middle of July. In the middle of July, I will be moving back to Houston. So if you see me in Houston, you better speak. What is the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you? <sighs> I told myself I wasn't gonna share this on YouTube, but I might as well give y'all a laugh. So, when I was little, I don't know how old I was, I know I was little. I was at a friend's house and we were jumping on the trampoline and that day, like my stomach had been hurting. I don't know what for. I wasn't feeling sick or anything like that. My stomach was just hurting. And me, I'm a type of person whenever like something is wrong with me or my stomach is hurting or sick, I don't really like show it. I just, you know, go with the flow. Like if I'm sick or something like that, I'll still get on the roller coaster. But anyway, so I was at my friend's house and we were jumping on a trampoline and like, I felt like I had to boo-boo. Like, I felt like I had to boo-boo. And like, sometimes I can hold my, my boo-boo, but like that day, it was just like, man, like, I gotta go. So me, you know, I'm ignoring it. 
stuff like that because I felt like I could hold it. But when I kept jumping up and down, like the boo-boo just started coming out while I was jumping. And my friend was looking at me and he was like, uh, uh, you nasty, uh, he boo-boo. And I was like, I was like, fuck. Like. Did I just shit on myself? For all y'all who's sitting there laughing at me because I accidentally boo-booed on myself, y'all can stop laughing because I know everybody has boo-booed on themselves before. If you peed or you boo-booed on yourself once in your life. So y'all can stop laughing. Bro, stop laughing. It's not that funny. You just get... Bro, stop laughing. Dang, bro. Just, just watch the video. Dang. Like, <laughs> I was like, did I just shit on myself? Like, it was running down my leg. I had to hurry up, go jump in somebody's car to go back around the corner and like, get, like, take a shower because I had really, I really sat there and like shitting on myself. Like for some reason, it just felt different that day and felt like it wanted to come out. So, all right, that's my story. That's the most embarrassing thing that has happened to me. How many kids do you want? I only want two kids. Yeah, I only want two kids, a boy and I want a girl. That's it. Uh, what motivates you? A lot of stuff motivate me, but if I had to choose like a person or something uh my grandma motivates me a lot i all i want to do is just like like i told y'all in the beginning like my grand people have helped me so much done a lot for me and i feel like my grandma has done a lot for me and being that i went through something that was dreadful uh, in the past when I was younger. Um, I feel like I owe my granny, I owe my grandma a lot, and she just motivates me because I always try to put a smile on her face. I always try to, you know, impress her, even though I shouldn't be trying to impress my family. But my grandma is someone who motivates me all the time. My family in general, because I want them to see me uh, as a role model, uh, because there's a lot of stuff that they go through and stuff like that. And I just want them to see me as a role model and just be like, A, like I look up to him and stuff like that. Like, <clears throat> I just want them to see, I just want them to see like that in life. like. There is great out there, there's goodness, there's people out there who are actually, you know, living and you don't always have to be mad and angry all the time. So that's what motivates me. What is one of your pet peeves? Bro, if you consistently fart by me. So like, I give you, so say for instance, like, we, you know, we sit down and you fart you pass gas like one time, I'll be like, okay, cool, that's normal or whatever. But you keep going. I might give you like one or two times to do it and I'll be chill, but like when it get to that third time when it get to that third time, you gotta go to the restaurant. And then the farts that be smelling like rotten eggs, smelling like just straight up shit. Like like it be like it be coming out wet and like you can hear it like it'll be like like it be so nasty and just to smell that stuff I don't even think I want to eat my food no more. That's one of my pet peeves. Another one is if you go through my stuff like without asking me, like that is something that I hate. Like even if we may have a close closest relationship or whatever like don't go through my stuff without asking because you never know what i could have in there like i have something in there that i probably don't want you to see 
and you just gonna see it, and I'll be like, like that'll that'll tick me off. That's one of my pet peeves. Next question: What is your height? I'm only five nine, but I can be a, a good five ten, five eleven on an, on on good days. On a good day, would you rather? I said rather. <laughs> Would you rather be rich or famous? Um, I always told I always told myself that uh, I would be famous one day, but I do love money. I would say famous, yeah. I would say famous because if you're famous, like the money gonna come regardless. What is your real name? Fox. Wow. Not just plan. My real name is Titus Jermaine Johnson Jr. TJJJ. Yes, I'm a junior. My dad stole my name. I had it first. If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? I got some big ass lips. Like, if I'm running, like, I, I slipped on my lip once before I was running. And this is that attract me too. I was running and you know, <clears throat> I was trying the saliva and my lip was making my lip get kind of droopy because at first it was dry. But then when that mo <coughs> I don't got Corona. <clears throat> my lip, that when the moisture had hit it, hey, when the moisture had hit it, it started getting droopier and droopier and droopier. And so my lip started touching the ground and when I was not paying attention and I was trying to pick it back up and all of a sudden my right leg had slipped on it and all hell broke loose. Like I had people tripping over me because they were running so close to me. Like it was just, it was crazy. But that's one thing I would change. Um, nah, I'm just playing. I really wouldn't change nothing about myself. I love myself, the flaws, everything. Nobody's perfect, so I wouldn't change nothing about myself. That is it for this video, man. If you like this video, man, comment down below. Smash that like button, man. Hit that subscribe button, man, and turn on your post notifications so you'll be the first to know when I post. And go ahead and follow all of my social media so you can stay connected with me. I do a lot of posting on my social media pages, so definitely leave all of me that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and let's get straight to another video white 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 bags on the boat we gon' float we the shonen gang swerve on the road see the smoke blowing at your face pop kid better stop kid with that violence rock shit on some hard shit